What is it? Your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. What's up, YouTube? Prop Guy back here again. Today we're going to be looking at the Hasbro Black Series Luke Skywalker A New Hope lightsaber. This is the 2015 edition. And this is, you know, if you've ever seen any of the uh, the Force of X lightsabers, they're all very similar. They all do a very similar thing. Um, you have an all metal construction hilt, a few plastic bits here and there, um, and you got the LED string light up blade. Plus, you got you know full on sound effects, swings and hums, clash effects. All that is very standard. Um, all the way back from the early. 2000s when Master Replicas first released these and then I think they lost licenses and then they eventually just died out went out of business and then Hasbro picked them up and has been doing them ever since um, this one is rather unique because there have been previous versions of this from Master Replicas um, with this they updated it and Hasbro made more authentic A New Hope sounds I don't know how accurate that is but they did something unique with the new accelerometers in there. So you had more, I guess, abilities since speed changes. You could do slow swings and fast swings, um, which it made it feel a lot more lifelike and real. Um, this one's, I've played with it a little bit, so there's some scuffing on the blade and things of that nature. Um, and a little bit on the handle. Obviously, how can you not play with it? It's, it makes you feel like, you know, the first time you saw Star Wars for me was I was seven years old, and holding this is it gives you that feeling of like you're in the movie again. It feels great. Um, in terms of prop replica ness, this Force FX is probably the closest of all the Force FXs. Um, right here, I have an original vintage graphics hilt. Uh, there are a few repo pieces on this. One being this eye is reproduction. These rubber grips are reproduction, and the bubble strip is reproduction. Everything else is original 1940s piece. You got all the tarnish and patina and everything else. Obviously, the ring is also a replica. But if you put them together, you can really see that they are very, very close. The dimensions are almost spot on. There are a few things. I think the original finish has more of that chrome look to it, where these are made out of aluminum now. So it's hard to make aluminum look chrome. It really is. Uh, the brushing is pretty good. Um, the original graphic slash handles are actually made out of brass, and they're just chrome plated or nickel plated. Um, they're nickel plated, but they have almost a chrome finish to them. But if you look even from the end cap, you can see the dimensions are almost spot on. There's just a little bit more thickness to the force effects than there is the original. And that's probably due to electronics and batteries. Um, but the details are pretty spot on. I'm missing the... Um, I've actually got an earlier version of the uh, red button here that only had knurling at the top. There's like three different styles of the red button. Um, the most common one is what you see here, which this was on, I think, all the <laughs> graphics flashes throughout the movies. If you look at different scenes, there's variations of where the buttons are placed and, you know, which buttons is where and everything. Obviously, they had tons of these when they made the movies, so is which saber what he was handed or when. So. Um, now, there are a few details that I do know just because... I am a fan, a pretty hardcore Star Wars fan. This shouldn't have these lines in it. It should just be a flat piece. Uh, nitpicking. Uh, other than that, nothing. It should say Graflex across here, obviously, for licensing. They've taken that off. Um, but that's about it. Uh, it's got a good weight to it. It probably weighs maybe about a pound, pound and a half. It feels solid, it, no flimsiness to it whatsoever. Um, in terms of firing up, you just press the silver bubble strip here. 
turns it on, activates the blade. It's got a good, nice uniform blue. It looks better in the dark. Um, unfortunately, I've got too much light in here right now. But Rosie the dog, the beagle here is Prop Eagle is a very big fan of the lightsaber. So, but it's it's loud. It looks good. It's a nice piece. I won't go too lengthy in these because. These have been around for a while, and everyone pretty much knows the gist of them. Um, now, they've got newer version of this, which is Ray's version. I don't have that one. It's basically swapped around. It looks like um, Ray's version from Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Um, it's got the same accelerometer, same sound fonts, everything like that. Just slightly different hardware on the outside for the... Um, that Force Awakens look, which looks very similar to Empire, even though it's got a few differences between the two still. Um, if you watch Star Wars movies all the way through, there's no such thing as consistency um, from one movie to the next, which is funny and unfortunate at the same time. But in a nutshell, that, that's this. And now, it did come with a clear display stand. Um, it's kind of like a big... U shape or something like that. You can kind of rest it on. It looked really tacky. Um, I do wall mounts, as you can see with my Kylo Ren one here. Um, so that, that's how I display mine. Um, I, I think it's a better way of going. Um, the previous stands that came with the earlier versions of the Hasbro ones were basically just direct ripoffs of the uh, the Master Replicas ones. It had Star Wars and had little clear things and just sat in there. Um, I wish they kept something like that. It would have looked a little bit better. Uh, it would have functioned a lot better because it just kind of flob floats on there and wobbles out and everything. It didn't hold it very well at all. Um, but overall, it's a nice piece to have if you're a Star Wars fan. These retail for about $150 depending on the model. I think the Kylo Ren retails for like $200. Um, there are tons of lightsaber options out there. You have Ultra Sabers and Saber Forge and all sorts of places. People that make their own lightsabers for you, saber smithing. For the general fan that just wants a kind of nice replica, you know, makes authentic movie sounds and movie effects with a swooshing up and down, this is probably your best bet. Um, for $150, you're not really investing a lot of money. And at the same time, you're still getting that, that feeling, that experience of reliving part of the movies uh, which that's what's all about really this is a fantastic option you can find these on amazon you can find them just about anywhere um they're they're pretty nice they're pretty sweet i highly recommend picking at least one of them up just to have some fun and you know the great thing is they got every version imaginable i mean they've got you know this luke the ray version they've got the darth vader they've got the kylo ren they got the yoda uh, and those are just in the current line. Um, there's been previous versions, you know, from Hasbro and from uh, Master Replicas that are all over the map in terms of pricing. And some of them you have to track them down on eBay and stuff like that. Um, I recommend sticking with the newer versions just because I think the electronics work a little bit better. The blades are a little, blades are a little bit brighter. The accelerometers work a little bit better. The sound fonts sound a little bit better and brighter. Um, and I think they're just a little bit better constructed in those regards. And I think the hilts are actually made better under the Master Replicas brand. Um, particularly with um, the Darth Mauls and stuff like that. They look like they were made a little bit better. Um, and even this Luke one I think was made a little bit better under the um, old Master Replicas brand. But that's the Black Series Luke Skywalker and New Hope Force Effects in a nutshell. So subscribe. i got more videos on the way. See ya.